<laughs> don't look at my hair. <laughs> I met Danny Gewurz. Don't look at my hair. God, I met him. I, I met this guy. I can't believe I I can I could say that now. I met this guy, and not just not just like met like you know walk up handshake. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Wilson. Oh, great. Enjoy the movie. I mean, like I had two full blown conversations with this guy before the movie and after the movie, and they were both just an amazing time. Oh my god, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, the point of this video. I just want to say right now is not to say that I did something and that you should feel jealous for me. I actually have a point, so hopefully you can stick around long enough to actually get that point because I talk a lot. Danny Gewurz, if you clicked on this video, you quite possibly know who he is. But if you don't know, he has a YouTube channel. Basically, he just made a movie. That's 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 the whole gist. And he, he made this movie. It's his first narrative feature film. It's like an hour and 40 minutes. He set up this private private screening events all across the states. And I was lucky enough to go to this Chicago screening last night. <laughs> I met him last night. I took pictures with him and I talked it up with him as a growing filmmaker. I guess I could call myself that, whatever. I have to go to this because I feel like I owe it to myself to experience something like that, a true like, filmmaking experience because this guy is the real deal short films he's done music videos he's done professional shoots commercials things like that and now he has written and directed an entire feature film which i had the honor of seeing it's called i think i'm sick so yeah i got my ticket while i was still in school it was coming up just the other day and i was like okay great it's gonna be fine totally fine completely brushing off the fact that it was in downtown Chicago. <laughs> of course, I didn't really plan it out. I got to the parking garage at like 7.10. It said on the ticket, it starts at seven. I was obviously freaking out in the, these tight corridors of Chicago. I don't like driving in the city, if you couldn't tell. Peeing my pants the entire time, like, oh my God, I'm, I'm missing this. What if the movie's starting right now? This parking garage, not a parking garage. Like, I swear to you, it's just normal doors, just a normal building. I go around looking for more lots. I finally find a spot. There's a parking lot with one spot left that I just happened to, to swipe up real quick. I get out of my car and I just run for like a couple blocks and I, I get into the theater and there he is. Danny Gewurz himself, he's just like standing there, just like back to me, just in a hoodie and sweats, just talking to these, these people. Like he's just there. He's just in the front of the theater. So obviously they haven't started yet. I freaked out for no reason. Apparently it started at 7.30. So I waited there for like 20 minutes at the front just before the movie started to talk to him. I was just sitting in the corner, super awkward, just looking at him for way too long. Finally got to talk with him. And I, he, like he gave me a hug and like we, we, we talked it out. As much as I want to say that he gave me this like crazy, like overarching advice that will just lead me on to my career. No, that's not really what it's about. And that's kind of why I'm making this video because I have a point. I swear I'm getting to it. He's just a nice guy. He's given his time to talk to everyone that's come to this thing. There's about 50 people that showed up to this little theater to watch his movie privately. I'm just sitting here in the corner, like waiting to talk to him on my own. I went on my own just by myself. Eric Floberg was there just chilling in the back. Very successful YouTuber and filmmaker. It's like, it's so crazy. It's so crazy, you know, just to like, just to have that sort of experience to like go to, you know, like that's why you got to keep your eyes open for this sort of stuff. Anyway, I'm I, obviously I got in late. I'm like sitting in the, the nosebleeds of the theater and he like comes around to me before he does a speech and he's like, hey, you need a neck pillow? And I'm like, oh my God, Danny, oh my God. I'm watching your movie. It's my first fanboy moment. Like, I don't think I've ever like met an actual like celebrity before. I, I guess I can't really call him a celebrity. I could just call him a nice guy <laughs> who just loves what he's what he does. We all watch the film. It's incredibly hilarious and so heartbreaking. Um, again, hour and 40 minutes just blew me away. Absolutely blew me away. And I, my mind was focused on so much that night that it took me until this morning to actually like take it all in. This film he made was so him, so incredibly him. Like usually he's operating the camera, but he had a crew on this time to help him out, like everything. But you can tell that this film was still just unapologetically him, just like he is unapologetically himself. Like if you watch his channel, like 
You watch for him, you know? You watch for the friendship because you really get to know him. And that's sort of the lesson, I think, of this video. Like, I just, again, I didn't just want to make this to be like, I did this cool thing, check it out. Um, but I, I, I'm making this because I, I genuinely believe in him. I believe in the art of making things accessible and making art accessible keeps people like me going. It keeps people like me inspired and pushed to keep making things. And all the while he's doing it while he's just such, uh, such a guy, like, like such a, such a bro, such a, a good human being. And that's so important. And he probably doesn't realize that, but that's, that's part of what makes him go so far. Overall, you have to be able to work with people. Like that's the most important part of making things or, or like having a job in general. <laughs> that's how people remember you. You know, that's how I remember Danny. Like he, he's got some amazing stuff, but deep down, he's just a good person. I took a chance and I went to Chicago on my own, faced my fear driving in a city and I met this super cool filmmaker guy. <laughs> Um, and that's just something that I will remember for a very long time. Again, you can watch the trailer. I'll leave his channel in the description, both of those. Hope you learned something. Hope you take away something from this. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>